Okay, we are doing homework uh, four. So what do we have? Scatter plot uh, of a pair data is set is shown. Determine whether there is a perfect positive linear correlation, a strong positive linear correlation, a perfect negative correlation or strong negative correlation or no linear correlation uh, at all. So how we are going to identify? I'm going to show you. Let's say if I have it like this, first of all, on the graph, you look from left to right. So from left to right. So what do we have? It's graph is increasing, right? So, uh, which means uh, it's going to be positive as X is growing, Y is also growing. So we have positive uh, correlation. Now, is it strong or perfect? This is what we have is perfect because it's on the uh, line. But if I would have something like this, it's still, right? Positive, but, it, but it's a strong positive uh, correlation, just like it's uh, uh, here on the graph, it's strong, but instead of positive, if you look from the left to right, it's going down. So it's a strong negative, where is it? Linear correlation. There it is. Okay. Next question, question number two. Where do we use this correlation? We use a lot in uh, psychology. Psychology is based on statistics. And uh, uh, just uh, this scatter plot, we can look at relationship between couple, between husband, between parents and children, and build the scatter plot. And based on how scatter plot looks like, we either can identify positive, identify negative, or no correlation at all. When we say no correlation, it looks like uh, like chaotic, like this, because you can't provide any imaginary number, okay? That's a chaotic, and meaning no correlation. So let's see here. Here we have, uh, I would say perfect, because straight on the line, it's in theory can be only like that. In uh, uh, practice, it's not gonna happen. But it's uh, here we have perfect negative linear correlation. Bingo. Question number three. Okay, we have parabola. Parabola is no linear correlation because parabola is not a line it's a curve therefore the answer is going to be no linear correlation fantastic question number four what we're going to do we want, we need to find which one is matching to what first of all let's see uh, we are going to eliminate if there is a um increasing, decreasing, what it's uh, gonna look like. This is how we're gonna check. So uh, look here, my uh, minimum when it's one, X is one, 300, and when it's six is 2,450. And as we look, one, two, three, four, five, H, it's uh, steadily increasing, right? Which means we have as, uh, as X increase, our Y is also increasing, which means we have positive because it's uh, uh, the growing, right? Not falling line, so it's growing. It's gonna be positive linear correlation. Now, positive linear, we have, it's, uh, it's the answer, it's either A, right? One, two, let me zoom it. So here, see the points, okay? Or uh, it's going to be C. It's also positive. I guess it's better seen when it's uh, like this. You can better see. So how to find out D has it uh, doesn't have any correlation and B is negative. So how to choose uh, which one it is. 
So I am looking that the maximum of furthest point is quite different there in C and in A. Therefore, I'm going to see. So for A, the maximum point here, it's going to be a little bit less than 2,500. And the X is going to be 6 since the last one is 7. Here it is, is 7. So one before, it's going to be 6. So number 6 has about 2,000, less than 2,500. Okay, we have in the table 2,400. Okay, let's check now uh, C. So where is uh, C? Oh, it's getting close to, it's opposite. X is 2,500. Y is about 6. We don't have it. Our X is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here, Y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And Y is starting from 100 all the way to 2400. And uh, um, X here is uh, till 2500. So, uh, version of C falling out. And I'm drawing conclusion. A is going to be my answer. Very good. So let's identify, ah, correlation coefficient. Uh, I placed, uh, I'm going to place uh, the, um, this uh, link to this calculator. Let me type. Correlation coefficient. Okay. Ah, calculator. I forgot. Calculator. Correlation coefficient is identifying how strong it is, okay? Okay, let me, I'm taking this one. Very good. And what numbers I have, let me enter. I, I placed the link for to this calculator under the video in comments and I will pin it. So you will be able to find it. Okay. Let me copy. Which one it is? Ah, here it is. Let me take a picture of these numbers. I'm going to enter all right so my x is uh, going to be one two three four five six one two three four five six now why it's gonna be 300 500, 1150, uh, 1400, 1400, and 1950, and lastly, 2450. Okay, done. I'm clicking calculate. Okay, R. It's a correlation coefficient, 0 0.9925. Let's see how many decimal it wants. Three decimals. 0 0.9925. If I round, it's going to be 0 0.993. Very good. And uh, continue. Last question, see what do we have here? We are looking at our graph. We, I would say, and based on correlation, 90, 0 0.993, that's mean uh, the, we are getting close, the maximum correlation positive can be correlation coefficient. What is uh, correlation coefficient is? It shows how strong the correlation is. It, it can be negative, Correlation coefficient, it can be positive. 
minimum is negative one, maximum is zero point, uh, the maximum is one. If the closer to one, just like we have here, it's strong positive. If it would be negative 0 0.993, it would be negative strong. But if it would be around the zero, around the center, let's say 0 0.5, 0 0.03, or negative 0 0.055, or whatever, it would be weak, or no linear correlation. So in this case, we are saying strong positive correlation because it's close to one, 0 0.993. And on the graph also, we are looking it indeed strong. Well done. Question number five, what do we have? The slope is positive, ah, it's the answer. Two variables have positive linear correlation. Is the slope of the regression line for the variable positive or negative? Well, if uh, two variables have variance, uh, variable have positive linear correlation, that means slope is positive. If its slope is positive, in our case, it's going to be either A or D case, negative one falling out, right? So what means positive? Uh, the, the y it's going to increase as x increases, right? So I would say here it's d. The slope is positive as the independent variable, independent variable from algebra. We say that's x, the one horizontal line on the graph. Okay, hold on. This is our independent uh, variable. Whichever variable we have here, that is our independent, and this one is dependent. If I draw like this, which it can happen, then y is gonna be independent, x is gonna be dependent, all right? Okay, so in this case I'm choosing because um, as the independent variable increases, dependent variable also tend to increase. Good job. I think I'm going to add in your uh, the homework uh, one more time this question so you would practice question like that, okay? Next question number six, uh, we did already. Oh, no. What happened to number four? Oh, it picked similar. Well, okay, we already did, you know how to do it. Number uh, six, question number six. In order to predict the uh, y values using the equation of the regression line, what must be true about correlation coefficient of the variables? Okay, predict uh, a predictable y value. Predictable value is when you can forecast it. When you can forecast based on pattern uh, that uh, in the current situation you can forecast what will come ahead, what to expect. It's widely used everywhere. Let's say in uh, Wall Street uh, market is widely used based on how the stock behaves. They can foresee uh, what is gonna happen or uh, in um, police department, they use investigation based on pattern or hand uh, but, um, not um, the pattern of behavior of criminal, let's say, they can foresee what's gonna be next, okay? That's what is uh, the predicted value. Is it 100% uh, the case? Of course not, statistics never guess 100%, but more or less, uh, you can see the trend, which way it's gonna develop, okay? So, what is important uh, about this correlation coefficient of the variable in this question? That uh, the correlation coefficient has to be significant, meaning if there is, it's very, very weak or no correlation, that uh, coefficient, meaning no correlation, it's impossible. If it's chaotic, then it's not gonna help for prediction. You have to see the trend, remember I told you. And the trend is it's either 
increasing or decreasing uh, the straight line or uh, parabola or uh, whatever. But it is significant. You can clearly see that it's a, a going to t uh, the, uh, the direction. It's going uh, to fall down or it's going to grow or it's like parabola. So the importance is uh, it's going to be the correlation between variables must be significant. Where is that magic word significant? Here it is in B. Good job. Question number seven. Is it appropriate to use regression line? Regression line, it's, it's uh, how you describe just like uh, in algebra, when you learned, uh, you graph linear equation, let's say like this, you, you graph uh, at the line, right? And then linear regression, it's gonna be, if you can write down, what is it, mx plus b, or describe some, let's say, 3x plus 4y is equal six, for example. So that's a, a regression line, or this one. Most likely, this is in general form. Okay, so back to our problem is, uh, um, is it appropriate to use regression line to predict y values for x value that are not in for close to the range of x values fi found in the data? I don't know if you understood anything. I did not. <laughs> I, I understood nothing. So let's read one more time. Is it appropriate to use regression line to predict y values for x values? Okay, to predict y for x, okay, that are not in uh, or close to range of x values found in the data. Okay. So x values that found in the data uh, in the form of range or no range. So is it possible to predict what kind of y it's going to have for these x values? OK. So the answer is uh, I'm going to tell you, and that is known uh, from uh, research, from uh, experience, that it is not. Uh, appropriate, one second. It is not appropriate because the regression line mode model the trend of the given data and it is not known if the trend continues beyond the, that range of those data. That's our D, of course. So why did we choose this answer? Because it says it's uh, in the range, right? In the word problem says uh, um, for X value that are not in the range. But uh, we can't find out how much Y will be because we don't know behavior of X behind of this range. Okay? Let's check it. Okay, doing question number eight. Match the description uh, with the descriptive, uh, description below, slope. Okay? So when we have slope, what does it remind us? Let's go back to algebra, y is equal mx plus b. B is intercept. M is our slope, right? When we have slope, that means we are talking about M, right? Oh, what did I do? I said M and I click M. The same thing I had previously put something else. Nice work. Okay, 
Here, I would recommend to take a picture of this. So look here, when we're talking about slope, it's associated with letter M. Y-intercept associated with letter B. The Y value of data point corresponding to X, it's gonna be XI. And Y value for a point on the regression line, it's gonna be Y hat. So those are possible, uh, the question can be that you have to find out if it uh, says which one is matching to Y value for a point on the regression line. The regression line, it's a equation, right? That represent the line. Uh, and that's what we call in statistics regression line. So that will gonna represent Y hat. Y value of data point corresponding to X, which means which uh, X is matching to uh, uh, the Y, it's gonna be our YI. And obviously uh, Y intercept and slope. Okay, and we are done. Okie dokie.